Hey everyone, it's February 21st, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with Jason Thomas Scott, a serial killer from Maryland known as the Mother-Daughter Killer, and that is him right up there. Born in 1983, he grew up to be a sophisticated killer, using knowledge of forensics to help commit nearly perfect home invasions, killing two sets of nurses and their daughters. Scott was a troubled child, playing Peeping Tom at the age of 10 and recording people on a video camera while they were sleeping or changing clothes. This escalated to breaking and entering, finally being arrested for the first time in 2007 for burglary, and again for a home invasion robbery in 2008. Scott had an accomplice for these crimes, who he worked with on 30 to 40 burglaries and home invasions. The pair were co-workers at UPS, though Scott was a graduate of the University of Maryland in computer science who was pursuing a master's degree while working at the facility. Scott used his access to addresses and other data at UPS to help pick his victims. During one home invasion, he spied a photo of a teenager he found attractive, looked her up in his delivery database, and targeted her house three weeks later so he could sexually assault her and videotape it because he thought she looked nice. His first murder came in June 2008 when he shot and killed a woman in her home, then set it on fire. Then in 2009, he began the crime spree that led to his moniker. In January of that year, a 911 call was placed by a young woman saying she had been shot. When police arrived at her home a few moments later, her body and that of her mother were found with fatal bullet wounds. Two months later, a burning car was discovered to have two bodies that had been strangled in it, one in the back seat and one in the trunk. The gun used for these crimes was traced to a weapon shop that had been burglarized, and that case led the police to Scott. An ATF agent later said, I think the scariest thing about him was that he took his craft seriously. It was almost as if it was his profession. He studied. He would watch TV shows that focused on criminal forensics, whether it was scripted television shows or reality-based shows in which they talked about how police conduct their investigations. And he used that information to help him in his criminal endeavors, whether it was hiding his DNA by always wearing gloves or turning off his cell phone and going so far as taking out the battery because he thought that perhaps the police might be able to trace where his cell phone was at the time of any of these crimes. He was initially tried in 2013, but a mistrial was declared. Rather than face a jury in a second trial, he took an Alford plea, which is where a defendant accepts punishment without admitting guilt. Scott began serving 183 years in prison for his crimes in 2012. If this was your birthday, I hope you have a great day. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, please send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Jason Thomas Scott, I have to say, happy birthday, you bastard.